Were there any themes, general themes, yeah. from what you were listening to on social media today? Well, and, and you kind of heard it with those people talking. If you side with the president, then you find it just plain disrespectful. And you're really not going to be able to change your opinion on that. You're not really listening to what the other side is saying. You know, what I heard from the other side, one of the most poignant uh, responses we got was from somebody saying, you can disagree with it, agree with it, but these are the kind of conversations we have to have in order for us to move forward in this country. All right, we're going to try to do that tonight. Yeah. Brian, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go back to how this whole thing started, right? It started with Colin Kaepernick, a quarterback for the 49ers, not even playing uh, this year, but he sat down during a preseason game last year protesting the shooting of black Americans by police. He actually told everyone why he was doing it. Let me read it to you, what he said last year, Colin Kaepernick. I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. To me, this is bigger than football, and it would be selfish on my part to look the other way. There are bodies on the street and people getting paid leave and getting away with murder. Well, as we know, his protests evolved into the taking of a knee instead of sitting down. He's been joined by teammates and joined by folks all over the NFL. So today's protests, were they about the social injustice that Colin Kaepernick was protesting, or was it all just a reaction to the president's remarks? Well, the two Falcons who took a knee today uh, did talk to the media about this today. Uh, Dante Dontari Poe, the defensive tackle, said it was about social injustice for him, while uh, Grady Jarrett, a defensive lineman, said that it had been on his mind before, and he was also uh, said it was awesome to have the support of the organization. So. What's the other question here? What is the league policy when it comes to these protests by players? There were some comments on Facebook today saying there's a policy that requires players to stand. Well, we did some research today, and uh, there's nothing in the CBA, the, the collective bargaining agreement, the union contract about it, and there's nothing really in the league rule book, book about it, although NBC says that the NFL could apply Article 8, which is uh, pregame messages. But there's no plans to do that, and we haven't heard anything about the NFL taking any action there. 